first time I had a passion for bikes would probably be when I was younger, maybe 13 years old. My older cousins would always go dirt biking and they had like this funky house. It was like a house and then they had like a big old backyard, huge, I think it was like an acre. They had little ramps. We'd go to the back and we'd jump on the bikes and just haul ass up and down, up and down till we got tired. And I think that was the first time when I was like, wow, you know, this is really cool and I, I really want to keep doing this. My name is Daniel Flores and I ride a Honda Shadow. When I bought this bike on Craigslist and it was in Silmar, we met up with this guy. We had to wait for him for like an hour just to get home. He finally got there and you know, hey, what's up? You know, I showed me the bike. It took forever to start. I don't know, you know, that was my first clue. You know, I was like, hey, but something's going on here. And then uh, after I turned it on, you know, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. You know, so I offered him the cash and we were about to get it and he said, you know what, I can't find the pink slip. So I was like, okay, well, shit, I need the pink slip. He said, pay me half, take the bike home and then pay me the next half and I'll give you the pink slip. And, you know, I was about to do it and, and Wolfie was like, nah, you know what, just wait, man, just wait. I'm, I'm sure you'll find something else. And I was like, all right, you know, so I hopped back in the car, took the long drive home. On our way home, I decided to go on Craigslist. I looked up on the shadow and I got this bike. It was up by Six Flags, actually. I said, I'm gonna call, so I called the guy. I thought I was gonna be gone by then. As soon as I, I called him, he picked up. He said, yeah, man, you know, come down, check it out. I said, all right, cool. So we went, checked it out. He brought out the bike. The condition of the bike was perfect. I couldn't believe it. He was letting it go for that much. So, I, you know, I, I told him, turn it on. You know, he turned it on and everything. He, he gave me all the paperwork. He gave me the receipts for the oil changes. And uh, I said, you know what, I, you know, I'll, I'll take it. So I gave him the money, loaded up, and just drove back home. behind this bike was not make it look shiny and I didn't want to like go down the street you see nothing but chrome and you know shiny paint nice and clean I just wanted it to be like a machine you know I wanted it to just be rough and rugged most of the modifications on this bike honestly is no modifications more stripping down I didn't really paint the bike. What I did was I used sandpaper. I just sanded it down. I used acid. I left it out in the rain. You're not supposed to leave out your bike in the rain, but I left it out in the rain. We chopped it up. These bikes come with the mono shock, which is under the seat. So what we did is we took that out and it slammed the frame to the swing arm. And what we did is where the mono shock goes, we put in the square tubing. But after riding it a while, it kept moving on me. So. What we did was we, we ended up having to weld the swing arm to the frame. I just uh, custom made a seat for it, uh, a rear seat, a passenger seat. All I did was I, I, I got the old seat from this bike, the old front seat, and I, I, you know, I took the leather off and uh, I just kind of shaped it. I cut it and I shaped it and I, I put it back there and I wrapped it with the old Iron Maiden t-shirt, you know, glued it to the, to the fender and put some rope around it and tied it down and that's it. We got a rear fender from Harley Davidson. It didn't fit this tire. These tires are, are a little bit wider than the Harley Davidson tires. So I had to like, you know, shape it to size in the back. This was our first attempt trying to put this bike together. So it was trial and error. We made the, the fender. Uh, my buddy Wolfie, he put together a, a rebar sissy bar. We mounted the rear fender on top of the, the sissy bar. You know, we welded it, you know, we thought everything was cool. I went to a, to a friend's house. They were having a little event and one of my friends was really drunk and I didn't want to leave him there. I couldn't leave him there, you know? So I said, you know what, dude? Like, I'm gonna have to take you home, dude. You're gonna have to sit behind me and I'm gonna have to give you a ride, dude. There's no other way. So, you know, he said, yeah. He didn't live too far. So here I am, you know, jamming, you know, we're trying to keep our distance, you know, I'm like, sitting forward and he's sitting back trying not to touch me and we're riding down 605. I get off on uh, on Laura Zusa and as I get off I hear my friend yelling in the back he's tapping me and tapping me and, you know so 
I'm, I'm looking around at what's going on. So I stop the bike and he gets off and he's, and he, he starts tapping me in the back and slapping my shirt and slapping my shirt. So I'm like, what's going on? And I get off of the bike and my shirt's on fire and, I, and he's on fire and my fender's on fire. So I guess what happened was uh, the welds broke on the sissy bar and the fender was rubbing against a tire and that caused friction. And I don't know if his shirt caught fire, my shirt caught fire, something caught fire, it just ignited. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, we learned from that, you know, obviously we, we moved on from that and, you know, we made some changes. I think for me, the best time to ride, uh, there's something about fall and where the sun sets. It's, it's just, man, you, when you're riding into the sunset, it's, it's beautiful, man. It's, it's something that, you know, I wish everybody could experience. The feeling you get, like, on a bike, it's, it's amazing, man. It's, you just feel free, dude. Like, I know it sounds very cliche and cheesy or whatever, but it's true. It's true, man. You, you're riding, anybody, anybody that's, you know, ridden a bike, I know can relate to me. There's just, there's no, you can't describe that feeling. It's just something you just have to experience. In all honesty, riding a bike is not for everybody. You know, you have to have a certain level of no fear to ride a bike. It's something that is dangerous, it's fun, and you always have to respect the machine. It's, it's just not for everybody.